think my day actually starts really early in the morning. I get up probably at 5.30 or 6 and start reading the news and and uh, checking emails and communicating with students and faculty and anybody else I need to communicate with before I get here so that I can start working once I get here. Not a, it's really not an 8 to 5 job at all. Um, you know, I think a lot of people think of professors sort of as, um, well, you know, you only work in the academic year, you don't work in the summer. Not true at all. Um, I think most of us are available to our students all the time. I get texts from my students, I get Facebook messages from my students with questions all the time. Um, in the summer we do a lot of research, a lot of us teach summer school. I actually started um, taking students abroad in 2006 with a study abroad trip to Germany and, and the reason I did that was because I'm from Germany so I have a lot of media contacts there and the focus of that trip was on international media in Germany. So. We visited a lot of um, newspapers, television studios, we were on a TV show. So we get a really good feel for what's going on in the German media and so it made sense because I knew a lot of people there to expose our students to that experience. The Japan trip then started in 2009 actually. It's an interdisciplinary course so I'm team teaching it with an art professor who focuses on uh, visual literacy and photography and she and I uh, have worked together on research and so noticed that there's a lot of overlap between the two disciplines, advertising and art. And so we got a grant from the university to um, travel over there in 2009 and researched everything, put the trip together, and then offered it for the first time in 2010. And then um, this is the f second time we're offering it and we're leaving in May for two weeks.